Shadow of the Tomb Raider has been discounted 34% on Steam only a month after its release, 47% if you bought the more expensive edition. This has some people angry, and some people baffled at how some people can be angry over a discount. To delve into this conversation, we first need to look at why Shadow of the Tomb Raider is discounted so heavily so quickly out of the gate, and the answer is it's not as good as previous titles, at least according to Metacritic, an aggregate of all official review scores which averages the game in the mid-70s out of 100, while the two previous titles are in the mid-80s. That's an entire letter grade of difference, and it's a pretty big deal. I haven't played Shadow of the Tomb Raider, but I did play the last two, and they were fun, so Shadow of the Tomb Raider seemed to many like it would be a natural evolution of the series that maintained the quality of the franchise, but apparently it faltered a bit. Pre-ordering games is a gamble, because you're betting on your own instincts and judgment of what you've seen of a game so far, or how much you trust the track record of the developers or series. It's a faith-based investment, and sometimes you turn out to be wrong, but seeing a game you placed your faith in take a prior price cut so early out of the gate has to feel insulting, because your loyalty to the product got you shafted into paying more for it than others who were on the fence. It feels like you're being punished for having the exact qualities that should make you a valued consumer. Imagine being part of a rewards program and then realizing that the company is offering a discount to everyone except rewards members. You'd be like, uh, excuse me? What do I get for my patronage? You're gonna do your loyal customers dirty like that? This is an outrage. I'm taking my business elsewhere, so sir you'd be justifiably angry. This is kind of like that in a less official capacity, because people who pre-order games are demonstrating their faith that the game will be good, pledging their support, and game companies recognize that, which is why pre-order bonuses exist, to give extra goodies to those who would be first in line to buy their product. It's a carrot on a stick with a thank you card attached to it. However, Shadow of the Tomb Raider's launch week sales were down 70% in comparison to its predecessors, so fiscally, that shit bombed hard, and far less people stood in that line. So what do game companies do when their game sells like cold cakes, the opposite of hot cakes? They slash that price as low as they have to to try and garner some goddamn interest, in this case by 34 and 47 percent. If you pre-ordered Shadow of the Tomb Raider, you got screwed. I think it's safe to say that. And gamers don't like getting screwed. People who are more discerning are now able to save money on it if they want it, while the loyal customers have a giant hole in their wallets that would have been smaller if they were more skeptical. As someone who thinks games don't depreciate in value enough most of the time, I still think this is shitty because it's so soon. It should have been at least three months before a price came down like that. Then after six, it should have been half, and after a year, you should be at 20 bucks at the most. The idea of games being full price after a year disgusts me, but the idea of games being half price after a month does too. That'll teach anyone to trust your ability to make good shit. You'll create a self-fulfilling prophecy of garbage when nobody buys your game at launch for fear of it being trash, and as a result, your sales will reflect a trash game even if it isn't, and then your price will come down to trash level real quick. I find this upsetment to be justified. People who don't get it are whining about gamer entitlement. I take it you accept throwing $50 retroactively into the trash can as a necessary part of life never to be complained about? The Croft Edition used to run you 110 bucks, which is obviously ridiculous in its own right, but now it's below 60 before some launch buyers have even had time to fucking finish it. You ever get halfway through a game and realize the price tag has made more progress than you? And you get what you pay for doesn't work when you're paying two different amounts for the same thing. I didn't even buy it, but the more I talk about it, the more close to home it hits. I remember I bought the Final Fantasy X and X2 PS4 bundle for 50 bucks, and the next day PSN had a sale where it was 15. That shit stings, and in that case it's not anyone's fault, but in Shadow of the Tomb Raider's case it's a result of an undelivered promise of quality, and nobody would have had any reason to suspect that the price would drop so much so soon, or maybe they would have waited. However, people are reviewing the game negatively on Steam now in droves as a direct result of the price drop, which has nothing to do with the quality of the game itself, which is therefore stupid and petty. Maybe you got screwed out of some cash, but that doesn't mean you have to try and tank the game's sales for the future. People are literally thinking, I got gypped, and in response, this game must be fiscally destroyed. That's a bit psycho. Battlefield 5's Battle Royale mode Firestorm isn't coming out until four months after the game launches. I guess DICE is too busy digging its own grave to implement it sooner. But wow, holding off four months on the premiere mode of your game, that is quite ballsy, which in this case is a synonym for stupid. Part of me can see the logic, which is that they don't want to compete with Black Ops 4's Blackout mode until it's had some time to run its course and see the player count taper off. 
as if anyone would get tired of Blackout and want to leap right into Firestorm, though. If they're gonna be tired of something, it'll be the Battle Royale formula in general. You do yourself no favors by allowing four months of inactivity to even further decline the public's thirst for BR as a genre. Get in while the getting is good. Your bread isn't gonna rise if you put it in the oven after it turns off. I think this is yet another nail in the coffin for Battlefield V, a game that, with every decision, has painted a goal of self-sabotage, almost like EA is just looking for more and more ways to lose money and piss off shareholders and the general gaming community, while DICE inches ever closer to studio retirement in the shadow of EA's giant hammer. I predict DICE will be a thing of the past by 2020, probably sooner. If we see EA acquire another high-profile studio between now and May of 2019, the writings on the wall. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, follow me on Twitter at SunburnedAlbino. You support the channel on Patreon at patreon.com slash sunburnedalbino. Like, share, and subscribe and stuff. And I'll see you guys next time.